here is a function y. We can also call it f of x and it will equal x to the fifth power. I want to take the integral of that function, that y. And so I write down the integral symbol followed by x to the fifth times dx. Now, what is that x to the fifth? That x to the fifth is actually the y value. And dx is the change in x, or delta x. So, the y value, this function, the y value, times the change in x, the dx, is going to give me what? It's going to give me the area of this structure. So that's what the integral does. It gives you the area. So we'll take the integral of x to the fifth dx. How do we do that? Well, bring down the x. Take the exponent, add 1 to it. Prefix it with 1 over that exponent plus 1. And that becomes 1 over 6 times x to the 6 plus C. That's what we get so far. The next thing I want to do is I want to take 1 6 times x to the 6 plus C and take the prime of that value. So let's do that now. I bring down the 1 6 and I move it over to the left times x to the 6. Well, I take that 6 here and I move it into the front times the x and I raise it to the 6 minus 1 power. Bring down the c. Which I'm going to take the prime of, and that will make this disappear. Now let's see what we get. 1 6 times 6. These two cancel out. I'm left with a 1. x to the 6 minus 1 becomes x to the 5 power. And we are once again back at the beginning, where we started. And that's it for now. Thanks for listening. This is Hoboken Gear. Bye-bye now.